We've got a lot of news to talk about this week, but more importantly, a lot of good news to talk about, and I'll and a excellent and I mean excellent trailer to kick us off with because Dude. the Suicide Squad. Like I already liked that like lineup video that we got at DC Fandom last year. It's like, yeah. look how accurate all of our costumes are. You don't know who King Shark is. Well, we know who King Shark is now. Um, I loved this trailer so so much it has this sense of identity like it knows what it is but it goes absolutely balls to the wall with it and has so much fun with it like i watched it on repeat several times when the trailer first dropped and i was hesitant to show heather because she's not the biggest like r-rated comedy fan like she wasn't the biggest fan of the jump street movies but she likes dodgeball so like it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what comedy she might be interested in i showed her this and she's like i really really like that i really want to see that because it it's just got this sense of fun to it of Mm -hmm. she's like i honestly don't for the life of me remember anything about the first suicide squad this one looks like it's going to be ridiculous and memorable and I'm conflicted now about who I think is going to live and who I'm, who is going to die. But also, I get to do it again. I was right. I was right. Starro <laughs> is here, and I was right. I'm dude. I think this actually works better. Starro works better as a. This is so weird as a Suicide Squad villain than a Justice League villain, and that's so crazy to me. That I never thought that that's where we would be. But <clears throat> this trailer is so good. I think I've watched it three times in a row. Mm-hmm. When Oh, it's just... So I like that they kind of... It's not, a, it's not even a soft reboot. They're just like, yeah, we're putting another squad together. All right, let's go. Uh, yay. And like, Peacemaker is great. <laughs> I'm so excited for his show now. Yes. Um, also, King Shark is a shark. Is might actually be a thing now. So, uh, I had this discussion with somebody at work. Of you've seen, and I know you have, Justice League um, Dark Apocalypse War, mm-hmm. when basically everything has gone to hell. The heroes and the villains have to team up, and the whole time, all King Shark says is "King Shark is a shark." King Shark is a shark, and we get that in this trailer a little bit when he only says like one word at a time of like "nom" as he's literally eating a man or hand. And... <laughs> yes, that is your hand. What I told one of my coworkers, and I'm really, really kind of hoping happens, is. Throughout the movie, we only get the like the one word of like hand, nom, food, and stuff like that. And like at the end of the movie, maybe after they've successfully done their mission, or right as he might be about to die, he just looks at the person next to him. It was an honor to fight by your side. Yes, and then yes. right, right as they're about to die or something, and then like maybe Captain Boomerang or Peacemaker just looks at him. What the? And as about he's about to swear he blows up or something. This is what it does exactly like what we need, man. Like give him like the cadence that um he has in the Harley Quinn show too. Like to to I think to hear Sylvester Stallone's <laughs> voice say those lines with that cadence would be the funniest, the most awkward. Oh, I just everything about this movie now, like just because of the trailer. I like. I'm just so hyped. I'm like, let's go. Like, it's this is what we needed. Like, it's still dark. It's still gritty, but there's comedy and there's fun and it looks exciting. Like, like when just when it opens and Harley's like, what do you what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, well, we're about to start a plan to save you. Oh, well, don't let me stop you. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> I was like, this is like this is perfect. Like, let's yeah. And the 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 dick joke. The dick jokes, it's like my favorite part of the trailer. Just like the whole, all of the delivery, and it's literally John, like my my favorite brand of John Cena comedy, when he knows what he's saying, and he doesn't care. He's like, screw you guys. And then at the end, when I'm just like, you're digging yourself into this hole with this fantastic dick joke on the beach, I'm just like, how are you going to end it? And it's just like, who knows why madmen do the things they do? I'm like, <laughs> it's just so stupid. But it it's works. So great. It feels like James Gunn was not afraid to go all in with the character's persona. Like, um, we've said for a bit, 
Margot Robbie is a great Harley Quinn. I think this is the most Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn she's ever been just from this trailer alone of just like, um, oh, you guys had a plan to rescue me. I can go back inside so you can let that happen. Or like the part that I'm like, that, that right there is Harley Quinn. You tell us information that's not true. You die. You have personalized yes. license plate. You die. You die. You <laughs> cough without covering your mouth, to which I was just like, uh, guys, no, read the room. Great. Read the room. No, it's perfect. She's got like, like, flags like, Harley, stop it. But really, if you cough without covering your mouth, it's going to be an issue. <laughs> like, like, it's so great. Oh, and that was your boy, Dr. Who there. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really, I haven't really watched the show since he's been on it, but anyway, anyway we're at the point. Um, but I think it's worth being said that this is a Harley that we're that we're exploring that really hasn't been shown on screen before, and it's the post Joker Harley. It's not really been shown outside of maybe animate like it's been in animated shows, but really that's it. Birds of Prey, it's kind of, but kind of the movie wasn't the strongest. Really. It wasn't bad, it just yeah. wasn't that strong. But like it's, I think that's, <clears throat> I think that's why like in some ways. Um, we're not quite sure sometimes what to think of Harley because her identity has been so tied to Joker. And so now we're exploring who is this person outside of a very toxic relationship. So, yeah, just every, also I'm just ready, 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 ready for you to eat that crow when it comes to polka dot man. Cause tell me you didn't laugh when, um, blood sport was like, we're all gonna die. And Polka Dot Man looks at him. I hope so. <laughs> You're like, oh, I was like, like yes. Polka Dot Man. Mark my words. Polka Dot Man has some tricks up his sleeve, and he will be one of your favorite characters coming out of this movie. I bet you anything. Oh, and I wouldn't gosh. be surprised if he's like the only one left standing. Also, the editing in this trailer was wonderful. Like. As the editor that I am, I grin from ear to ear at the beginning when you see Michael Rooker's savant character in the jail cell and, like, the bouncing of the ball is timed perfectly to the music. I was just like, ah, so Edgar Wright edited your movie. Um, (laughs) But actually, for some reason, the editing trick that I was just like, okay, you've quickly established who this character is just in your editing alone is when you see Pete Davidson get the uh, piece of toilet paper off his crock and then the Croc. very next shot is weasel licking the wall yes <laughs> and you're like ew <laughs> but now i understand who weasel is and james are you working out some psychological issues that you cast your brother as a character called weasel who legitimately wears no clothes and they don't try to hide the fact that he's not wearing clothes <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> but yeah. and then yeah, I didn't think that's something I needed to see, but I still don't think it's something I needed to see. But also, here we like, are. This movie is clearly not afraid to go nuts with the violence. Like when you said King Shark ripped somebody in half, I figured it'd be like Darth Maul. Here's the top half. Here's the, here's the bottom half. No, he goes full Mortal Kombat with it and just rips the guy. I'm like, oh, so that's why the trailer's red band. I am all for this. Um. Now, let's do this now, and I'm sure we'll do it every time we get some new material. Who lives? Who dies? Because after this trailer, I think my list has changed a little bit. Unfortunately, yeah. I think Captain Boomerang is dying pretty quickly in this. I agree. Because uh, he's not in the trailer very much. I think Captain Boomerang's dying. I think Flu Laborg's javelin is dying because Harley has a javelin in the trailer pretty early on. I'm like, I bet you she took that off his dead body. Um, Nathan Fillion's TK, who's probably arm fall off boy, because Nathan Fillion is never a big character in James Gunn movies. He's just there as a fun cameo, plus arm fall off boy, which quick side tangent with arm fall off boy. I've always thought it was funny that in movies like Dr. Pepper is always like the soda of choice in movies that's always sponsored somewhere, but Nathan Fillion is drinking a pib. pib. He's like blatantly, here's a pib right here. I'm just like, (laughs) that has to be an inside joke, right? I died. uh, uh, Because you and I literally talked about it, like, last week in the pod, I think. Where it's like, well, I guess Dr. Pepper's just the the drink in DC movies. And he's drinking a pib. And I was like, 
hey, wait a second. <laughs> like, I know, I, I got that joke. Like, I don't think I've ever seen Pib in a movie, like, ever. That's I was so like, do great. you have the budget, Pib, to be in a movie? <laughs> or did James Gunn pay you? I'm, I was already excited for this movie. I'm even more excited. I think this movie is going to be fantastic. Um, it's August, I believe. August can't come soon enough. I'm yeah. looking forward to watching this on the biggest screen I can and then going home and watching it again on HBO Max because I'm determined I'm still going to see it in theaters because Starro needs to be seen on the biggest screen possible. And Agreed. I was right again about Starro. Just Vince McMahon's strut to the starfish man. Just, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm excited. I'm so excited.